Oh, you happened to click on this video. Well, I guess I must be doing something, right? Anyway, this is actually an update video that I did a few years ago, testing the magazine compatibility on the Zestava ZPAP M70 uh, rifle here. Now, the last one I had, the video that I did, I didn't have that many magazines, and I did some clerical errors on this gun, information that I don't have at the top of my head, and basically I'm not trying to make myself look like an idiot this time around. So instead, let's actually get to this video. Basically the way this is going to be done is that it's going to show the empty ones first, how they feed in while the magazines are completely unloaded. Then we're going to be hitting the range, which was about a few months ago, and we'll show you shooting five rounds each, or technically six because there'll be one in the chamber and I didn't want to waste time racking the bolt here every time it, I, I shot five rounds, so technically it's six which in certain cases 31 rounds it puts a lot of strain on the magazine when it's a fully loaded magazine and a closed bolt so anyway we'll start with the empties then we'll go to the shooting portion of this video so god i need to stop live and let's get on with it y'all all right without further ado let me show you how all these uh, ak magazines in 762 actually fit in the sestava zpap m70 now, of course, there are some discrepancies between each model and or however your luck runs, you may get yourself a lemon. So, this is my personal experience with all of these magazines. First off, start off with a 10-round magazine here. See, no issues. The Magpul 30-round P-Mags without the feed lips fits well. And if you hear, like, background noise, dogs and whatever. So anyway, P-Mag with the metal feeding lips. Fits that one pretty well. It's a little bit more snug because of the metal. Now, this Bulgarian 30-round magazine, Polymer, from Gun Mag Warehouse. Fits pretty well. From Gun Mag Warehouse as well, Bulgarian Steel Magazine. If your A cake does not feed with this kind of magazine, get that sent back in. You got yourself a lemon. Fits that one well. US Palm Magazine with the metal feed lips on it. Solid black. This one is a pretty tight fit. Once it's fully loaded, it is very tight. So you definitely gotta rock it in real hard to be able to get this to fit in. From Kalashnikov USA, a windowed 30 round magazine. Fits pretty well. This one is personally one of my favorites. Another US Palm magazine, polymer feeding lips. This one in a clear. So that one fits. Same magazine style, all polymer, just in alien green from Classic Firearms. This one fits. Another one from Kalashnikov Concern. This is the 4-5 magazine, the big one. I'm a young YouTuber, so screw it. I'm gonna risk it. That works well. Now, let's get to the three rare magazines that we got. We've got the All Steel One Type 1, when the AK Type 1 was made. So, All Steel, Heavy Duty. Works well on that. And we're going backwards in order because of the going by weight. This one is the Bakelite 7.62 mag. So, works well. And then lastly, the aluminum magazine here, the waffle one. Let's see how that works. And this one works pretty well as well. Wanted to get this section over pretty quickly. Let's finish up the rest of the video and actually let's see the, all these magazines being fired with uh, five rounds at a time, except for this one, which will be at the end of the video. So let's get over to the shooting section of this. All right, y'all, I've already showed you at the house how all of these fit. Let's just start off with the these magazines. Five rounds, just to show you how it is. No issue. So first magazine, not a problem. This is the clear one. Should already have a round in. Not an issue with that one. 
the alien green one from uh, Classic Firearms. That one does it pretty fine. P mag with the plastic feeding lip. Forgot one. Does that one pretty well? Mag pool with the steel reinforced feed lips. Feeds well. No issues. Gun mag warehouse. Pull over magazines. Now the first go around when I'd actually try to feed this magazine into this gun, there were issues. But once enough plastic was shaved off, for me, it seemed to work out pretty well. And I also took it for a first time range day and they work fine. Let's see how it does. Works fine for this five rounds. Generic AKM Kalash magazine. If it doesn't feed that or work in this, then well, you got a lemon on your hands. And also if you can reload it right the first time. Doing that one pretty well as well. Drop test. Rounds are still in. Didn't mean to do that. But this is the Kalashnikov USA windowed magazines. Hopefully these ones that are made by KSI and cut up by Kalash USA work. This one ought to be cool. so far. Type 1 steel slab magazine. So for the AK-1 pattern rifle, let's see how this heavy duty uh, first generation magazine does. Works out pretty well. The Waffle aluminum magazine here. Let's see how this lightweight magazine does. Ran it pretty well. And then we've got the Bakelite Authentic uh, magazine here. This ain't one of those fake lights. And this was, I think, the last magazine iteration before they went over to the 74. Ran that one as well. Now the last one, windowed 40 round magazine. So let's get right into it. Since we've been babying it with about six rounds, because there's one in the chamber, let's do about 11 for this one. Oh yeah, that definitely held out pretty well. And you know what? For the five round strings, since I don't have any more ammunition, these magazines all run reliably on the Sazafa CPAP M70 here. So, I definitely love this AK. Because, well, it is my only AK. If you have any qualms or concerns, almost every single AK magazine will run through the Z-PAP. As long as you make sure it's within spec. If it's not, then I would suggest maybe taking it to your local gunsmith and see what they can do about it. But otherwise, that's pretty much for the Z-PAP M70 magazine testing. So, might as well, while I'm here, finish off this uh, magazine. Use it for the overview slash review coming up whenever I can get up to it.